Quick Mask is an incredibly powerful tool for making and manipulating selections where you can make even really quite complex selections all just by painting in rather than using the more complicated selection tools. But it really is a highly versatile tool and I just want to quickly demonstrate something before we move into some of the ways in which you can use it. So I'm just going to use the elliptical marquee tool and I'm going to create a circular selection because there are times when you may need a perfect shape. So to access quick mask mode, we just have to press Q on the keyboard or click on the quick mask icon here. And then that gives us the mask itself. So we can paint in, which we're gonna do in a few moments. But when you create shapes in this way, you can transform them. So I've just pressed Control and T, so that would be Command and T on a Mac. So you can change the size, move it around, and even completely change the shape, and then come back out of all of that, and you have your adjusted selection. So it really is a hugely powerful tool that can be used standalone or in combination with other selection tools. So I'm just going to deselect this. And what we need to do here is set the palette colors to the defaults of black and white. So when we paint in with black, so I'm just going to select the brush tool there, enter quick mask mode by pressing Q, and you'll see I'm just painting in over this area. I'm just going to do it really roughly so it doesn't take too long. And what I'm going to do here is use this selection to lighten this area and change the color balance to warm it up slightly. So you would normally take a lot more time doing this. If you accidentally paint over an area that you don't want, you could press Control and Z or Command and Z, or alternatively, if you hit X on the keyboard, bring white into the foreground, you can then paint over the offending area like that. And then I can just hit X, bring black back to the foreground, and then paint in there. So here I'm using a soft edged brush and there are different times where you may need to change the feathering of the brush so that you have a harder edge and we'll look at that in a moment. So there's a rough selection. So to come out of there I'm just going to hit Q on the keyboard and I can see there's a little bit that's just gone over there so let's just go back. So Q again, bring white into the foreground and just paint over that area. And now I'm just going to create a curves adjustment layer and then let's lighten that off. It's gone a bit hazy so I'm just going to bring the black point over to the right. So you'll see we're getting a, a much lighter effect there but we're not getting too much haziness. And then I'm just going to go to the blue channel and add some yellow just to warm that foreground up. And you'll see it just blends really nicely with the rest of the image and it's a very very quick way to make a selection and there we have a mask that's been created when we created our curves adjustment layer so let's zoom in now and i'm going to copy this c defense here and then paste it into this area here to fill the space because it's not just about creating selections for making adjustments you can actually cut things out using this tool as well. So I'm just gonna click on the icon here to enter quick mask mode and then bring up the brush tool. So black in the foreground and I'm gonna leave my brush set to soft because I'm just gonna paint into the center and we'll do the edges in a second. I'm just gonna use quite a large brush here because I want to take some of that shadow. And now what I'm gonna do is hold down shift on the keyboard and press the right square bracket key and that's going to give me 50% hardness there. Or you could click on the icon here and change the brush hardness. And then using just the left square bracket key, I can change the size. So that makes it smaller. And if I was to use the right square bracket key, it makes it larger. So once again, I'm not going to spend too much time painting in carefully because it just takes a bit longer to get it absolutely perfect than what I'm doing here. And the main point of this is just to show you how it can be used. So using the 50% hardness on the brush edge gives me a very, very small amount of feathering that works well with this solid object here. So I've gone over a bit that I can see and I can fix that in a moment by painting white over those areas. 
and let's just grab these parts here and then let's paint the areas that have bled over as well okay so what i'm going to do now is come out of quick mask mode by pressing q so that gives me my selection and i'm just going to hit the background layer there because the background needs to be selected so that i can copy those pixels so i'm going to hit Control and J, that would be Command and J on a Mac. And then V is the move tool, and I can bring that C defense into position. And I'm just going to resize it by using the transform tool, and then just drop it in there like that. And then commit to that by hitting enter. And then once that's been dropped in, I can create a mask by clicking on the mask icon there. And if there are any edges that aren't working, I can just use a regular mask to fix those. So there's a bit of a halo there. So if I just click on the brush tool, I'm gonna to leave it set to black because that is to hide. And then I can just paint over that kind of halo edge there. One of the great things about using quick mask for creating selections is that black paints in, white erases. But if you use a 50% gray, you get a lower opacity for that area so if you know that you only want to have a very weak selection that isn't a hundred percent you can change that opacity by using different shades of gray so this is just a quick introduction to using the quick mask mode to show you how you can very very quickly create and adjust selections in photoshop